Man, had to step outside. You see the uh, the haze and the lack of a skyline back there? This cooler air coming in here off the lake, there's so much moisture. The humidity is so high that when this cool air moves in here, see cool air is a little denser than warm air. The, the, the molecules, the little particles in the air, they're tighter, tightly packed. So all this moisture that's in the air, it gets squeezed, condensed, condensation occurs, and that's why we have this haze. And that haze also limits the heat, which is a big source of fuel for thunderstorms. Check this out. Once that thunderstorm or that heavier rain tries to roll up closer to that cooler air that's sliding in, it just eats it up, fades it away, runs out of fuel. That's going to happen with this one right here and a few more that develop along the lake shore. Different story inland, check it out. We're gonna see these thunderstorms inland where it's warmer, where you have temperatures near 80 degrees. These will fade away along the lake shore, but check these out. Look at them building into that heat, that super steamy air. That's where we have the best shot for damaging thunderstorms later on today. I'm talking about gusty winds, maybe some hail, and some power outages from lightning. You can't rule out the heavy rain leading to some localized flooding.